Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a crispy Cajun tempeh served over a bed of collard greens and with some Cajun rice. Now, this recipe is going to have a few different components. I'm going to be making a barbecue sauce, and then I'm going to be working on the tempeh. The tempeh is going to be coated in a Cajun seasoning and then a flour batter. Uh, it'll be fried up a little bit, and then I will be also baking uh, the collard greens and the Cajun rice. So I'm gonna get started with showing you the barbecue sauce ingredients and then move right into the tempeh. Okay, so we have some maple syrup, liquid smoke, water, ketchup, tamari sauce, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and garlic powder. When it comes to barbecue sauce, all I'm gonna do is add it to a pot, uh, mix everything together, and I'm going to um, get it heated up a little bit and just reduce it down and then I will set it aside and begin with the tempeh. So I'm going to add the water, tamari sauce, liquid smoke, maple syrup, the spices, and ketchup. So now that barbecue sauce, it's, um, it's heating right now. Uh, it's going to bring the temperature up enough where it's going to simmer and it will reduce because right now it is too much of a liquid and we need it to get a bit stickier. Um, it's going to come out fantastic. And so we add the ingredients that we do because it adds, uh, adds some tomato flavor, uh, but also the liquid smoke makes it a little smoky. Um, I'm using a mesquite uh, liquid smoke. Um, there's a huge variety that you can use. You can go with kind of whatever. Um, and then the other ingredients used, it's just gonna create a, a perfect barbecue sauce to go on top of these tempeh fillets. Uh, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And so you're gonna see that the barbecue sauce, it kind of gets a little bit more liquid at first when you first start mixing it. And that's simply because you're expanding all of the elements inside of these ingredients. And so it will get thicker um, and less kind of watery as it cooks and reduces. Um, have at it for about five minutes or so, and that'll reduce down enough. And we'll put it aside. It'll cool down a little bit and it'll turn into that kind of barbecue sauce as, as you're probably more used to. All right, and so there is the barbecue sauce and we're just gonna put it aside. Moving on to the tempeh, I'm going to show you the ingredients that we're going to be using to season and to bread uh, the tempeh. Uh, but first, I'm just gonna cut up the tempeh into pieces. Uh, you can get creative in this and just do, you know, whatever you want really in regards to the shape. Uh, but let's get that cut up and then let's take a look at the ingredients that we'll use. The seasoning mixture, which is some Italian seasoning, Cajun seasoning, salt, some chipotle pepper, and some flour. And then the wet mixture, we have some flour, oil, and plant milk. So making the seasoning mixture, let's just add the ingredients all to the bowl. Like so, let's give it a mix. Let's mix the wet ingredients. It's perfectly fine if the mixture um, is clumpy. Okay, so now the tempeh. I'm using uh, some light life tempeh, but I'm going to remove it from the packaging, just cut it right out. Uh, you can make your own tempeh if you want. Um, however, I have not learned how to do that yet. So therefore, we're relying on the store, the store-bought tempeh. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the tempeh down the long way. And so you can do all sorts of creative things at this point. You can just cut them that way or you can cut them into some, some triangle pieces, uh, which is what I'm going to do. And the only reason I'm cutting them into triangle pieces is because it adds a little bit of shape and design when you, when you plate it up. When it comes to breading the tempeh, it's gonna be pretty simple. We have the tempeh cut. And so I'm going to take the pieces and I'm going to put it in the dry mix, wet mix, and then dry mix. And then I'm going to set it aside. This is going to make sure that it is fully seasoned and breaded and ready to cook. All right, fully covering the piece of tempeh. And then doing the same in the batter mixture back into the seasoning. And I'll just kind of let it sit in there for a minute. If you want, you can just go straight into the batter if you find it not sticking so well to the tempeh after you season it. But you can go batter and you can go seasoning. I like to let the tempeh pieces sit in the seasoning uh, just so that way it kind of dries a little bit, so it gets as much seasoning in there as possible, and then you can just remove it right from the bowl. There you got right there. Then set it aside. It's now time to cook this tempeh, so I have a skillet heating up. I'm gonna add some oil and get that nice and hot, and I'm just gonna add the tempeh few pieces at a time and get them nice and golden crispy set them aside and then we'll move on to the collard greens And so what we're looking for for the tempeh here is that it is golden brown all over. And as we can see, these look fantastic. So I'm going to take these out and get the next round on. Okay, so we have some delicious looking tempeh and now we're gonna move on to making the collard greens. Uh, but I got a little bit of a mess to clean up, so I'm gonna get that cleaned up, and then I will show you the ingredients that we're gonna use to make the collard greens. Okay, so for the collard greens, we have a bunch of collard greens. There's a lot more than what is in frame here, uh, but uh, you get a bunch of collard greens, you get some garlic, some lemon, and salt. Now, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to remove the leaves from the stems. Now, uh, we can use these stems in some other recipes. We can, uh, we can chop it up and we can use it in salad. Uh, either way, for the sake of it, I'm gonna put it aside. Basically, what I'm going to do with the collard greens is I'm gonna roll them up like so, and I'm just gonna cut them. Just at a quick angle here. And then I'm gonna put it back together and just cut it in half. And this is an easy way to get good bite-sized pieces 
of the collard greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a bunch of the collard greens and then um, move on to cooking. When it comes to the lemon, really what I'm gonna do is just cut some lemon rings. like so. And then the garlic, I'm gonna give the garlic a quick mince. Now I'm not cutting the garlic too fine. Pieces like this is okay. I'm gonna work through the rest of my collard greens and then start cooking this off. Okay, so when it comes to the collard greens, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some oil to a skillet, then I'm gonna add in the collard greens. The collard greens are going to cook, they're going to wilt down a bit, and after that happens, then I'm going to add in the salt, the lemon, and the garlic, um, and bring that together and then I'll stick that aside and we will move on to the rice. And some garlic. And And we're gonna cover it for about five minutes. And so that's about what we're looking for from the collard greens. So I'm gonna put them in a bowl, set them aside, and then I will um, start getting some stuff together to make the rice. Okay, collard greens are done, and now it is time to move on to the rice. So let me go ahead and show you the ingredients that we will be using. We have some garlic, onion, tomato, vegetable stock, rice, yellow pepper, red pepper, salt, paprika, and chipotle chili powder. Now, when it comes to making this rice, it's actually gonna be super simple to make. I'm gonna start with prepping up the vegetables. So I'm gonna cut up the peppers, the onion, the tomato, and the garlic. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add everything into a pot and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'll drop it down to a simmer, and when it's simmering, I'm gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes, essentially until the rice itself is fully cooked, and then everything should be all set for the rice, and then it'll be time to bring this meal all together. All right, so starting off with cooking the rice. Let's add some oil. We're gonna add all of the vegetables. And we're just gonna cover that and let it cook for a few minutes. All right, we got that cooking. So now I'm going to add in the rice. Add in the seasoning and the salt. Mix it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna add in the vegetable stock. So at this point, I have 
the rice cooking. The rice is gonna need to cook for about that 20 minutes like I had previously mentioned. What I'm gonna do in the meantime here is I'm just gonna check on the other components of this recipe and make sure that it's all nice and hot and that it's ready to go so that way when this rice is finished, I can plate it right up and get to enjoying this delicious meal. All right, and now the rice is done. So at this point, all I have to do is just add the barbecue sauce over the tempeh and plate it up and we'll enjoy ourselves a nice dinner. And this is about what we're looking for when it comes to the tempeh. All right, so everything is done. So let's go ahead and try it out and see exactly what my thoughts are of this dinner. So first, uh, the rice, it's delicious. Uh, the thing that's great and that I noticed immediately about the rice is that it was cooked in vegetable stock. So you get that vegetable flavor coming through with the rice, but then also you get the peppers and the onion and the tomato uh, mixing in really well with a you know, a bite of the rice. The rice is seasoned well. It has a delicious peppery flavor to it. So it, the rice definitely has a, a Cajun note to it. So it goes really well uh, so far in this dish. And now let's try out some of the collard greens. So the collard greens are delicious. You definitely get some garlic and you get some fresh lemon in there. So that's fantastic. It's gonna brighten up the dish a bit with its flavor. And now the tempeh. That tempeh is fantastic. You get a little bit of a Cajun barbecue flavor on there. Um, it goes really well as a coating to the tempeh. You get the almost nuttiness from the tempeh. Um, so it's pretty, pretty well balanced. So all together, I think this is a great dish. Uh, I definitely look forward to enjoying the rest of this plate. I'd really like to know what you guys think about this dish yourself when you make it in your own kitchen at your own home. And, uh, you know, just comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, you know, there's not much more to say about this dish. It's fantastic. I definitely think that you'll enjoy it. I look forward to bringing some more recipes to you um, in the comfort of your own home because I'm your friend with Food Benefits. And I'll see you again real soon.